If you like Dungeons and Dragons, don't sleep on Baldur's Gate 3, which is launching on August 31st, 2023. This is a story-rich RPG set in the Forgotten Realms where you can assemble a party to shape a tale of fellowship and betrayal, survival and sacrifice, and the lure of absolute power. You can play Baldur's Gate 3 alone where you control your entire party of characters or online with your chaotic friends for a fun D&D-like adventure. Larian Studios is making this game and they are the developers best known for the Divinity universe, including one of my all-time favorite games, Divinity Original Sin 2. The game itself won a BAFTA for best multiplayer game, so they definitely know what they're doing. You may have defeated your enemies, but there can be only one champion. Many may succeed, Wait. but only one may ascend. I'm sorry, what? Whoa. To win their place, the one must fight their allies. Decide. Are you kidding me right now? Are you serious right now? <laughs> In October of 2020, Larian released the early access version of Baldur's Gate 3. I've played it a little bit, about 40 hours, and it is excellent. Let's do it. Oh, oh yeah, 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 okay, I forgot. So when, this is gonna just automatically su succeed, but you can still, it makes you roll. <laughs> Right now in early access, you can only explore act one of the game and the level cap is set to five for any character. But that just means that there is so much content for me to look forward to at the full launch of this game. My main character is Kins, who is also my original half-elf druid character in D&D. Yeah, Kins like, stands I'm... on hind legs and like tries to do this. Meanwhile, a rat <laughs> comes into view on hind, hind legs. <laughs> But because I'm playing solo, I've learned how to play as a fighter, cleric, rogue, and wizard, and there's more classes that I've got to learn. I'm pretty new to Dungeons & Dragons. I played a couple of sessions when I was in grad school, and during the pandemic was when I first started playing in a full-length campaign. And uh, I also watch Critical Role every week, so I'm more familiar with 5e. Uh, but also, sometimes I appear on Friggin' Nerds Media in their Basement Trolls games. Okay, oh. that's a natural 20. You have to roll another nat 20 in order for it to be a crit. But let's see. <gasps> Are you kidding oh me right God. now? <laughs> no way. Amazing. Which, by the way, check them out on Twitch for all sorts of nerdy content. Oh, and speaking of critical role, Matt Mercer is voicing Minsk in the game. You point, I punch. I've actually never played in any Baldur's Gate setting, so I really don't know anything about the characters, but that's also encouraging if you're like me and you're kind of new to D&D and you don't really know much about Baldur's Gate, you can still have a lot of fun because it's a really great RPG. There's also turn-based combat, which gives you a little bit of time to think or learn through how everything works, so I would highly recommend it. And then you too can be obsessed with D&D and we can talk about it and geek out all the time. But also this week at Summer Game Fest, there was another voice actor reveal that I was not expecting in Baldur's Gate 3. A new age is upon us. Gods have mercy on those who would stand in our way. Uh, yeah, Lucius Malfoy himself Playing a baddie? He's described as an antagonist in this game, but this is what Jason Isaacs has to say about it. It was a thrill to join the Baldur's Gate universe, but I fear that the magnificent Lord Enver Gortash is being mischaracterized as a villain. In a brutal world of betrayals and butchery, he's learned to lie better and backstab first. The joy in voicing him, apart from the obvious pleasure in getting to look so glorious, was that the creative team and I got to play loose enough to find ways that he could enjoy the ride and make the players hate him more. I just can't wait to see that play out. Jason Isaacs made me hate him so much in the Harry Potter movies. Well, not him, his character. So I am very much looking forward to seeing this in Baldur's Gate 3. Also this weekend, we got more news at the PC gaming show. 
there was a cute animated short with the original voice actors for the game, and I thought it perfectly captured the nonsense I love about D&D. First, I will incapacitate him with a fit of hideous laughter. Then, we will fill his bog with grease and set it on fire. And if he attempts to escape the blaze, fear not for I will keep my eye out for oh, him. Please don't. Even Lazelle's puns are more amusing. Then, on a more serious note, we got a bit of insight into the development of the city of Baldur's Gate. Apparently, the original design had a series of regions you would get to by teleport, and then partway through the development, they decided to change it to three seamless open world districts all connected together. Plus, the city seems vibrant with lots to interact with. You have crowds that are walking around, can talk to pretty much anybody, and they react to every single thing. It's, it's very alive in that sense. I'm already all in on Baldur's Gate 3. Collectors! Oh my god, should I get the Collector's Edition for Baldur's Gate? I already pre-ordered the Collector's Edition, which seriously looks so cool, and I'll need to figure out how to prominently display everything behind me. Also, I can't wait for level 6 kins to be able to wild shape into an owlbear. Yes, this is a collab with the D&D movie that recently came out this year, and who doesn't want to be a cute but deadly little beast? So we'll be on the countdown to August 31st when Baldur's Gate 3 launches, and actually there's one more date to keep an eye out on, so July 7th, Larian is hosting their final Panel from Hell live stream that they'll be doing before launch. So we'll get to hear more from the developers and I don't really have the details just yet, but you know I'm going to be tuning in. I'd love to know everything about what you think about Baldur's Gate 3, what your experience is with D&D if you've played before, or if you're just more familiar with D&D through movies or TV or just hearing people talk about Dungeons and Dragons, or maybe you watch some live streams on Twitch. Let me know what you think and if you plan on playing Baldur's Gate 3 because it's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to play with friends once the game finally launches in August. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, Wands ready.